Happy New Year everyone, and welcome to the first full completion episode of 2021 for Winter 30. I'll try and keep this one shorter than the previous given that we all still hang with our families these days. As always all the details, cars, tunes, time slots for each event are in the video description. While for any questions feel free to leave a comment or join the discord server. So let's get on to it and if you'd like and haven't already don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Horizon 4 and other car games content. Starting from 21% thanks to rivals and ranked which count for all the seasons of a series. For rivals post a clean lap for 6% while ranked is unlocked at level 3 adventure and offers another 15 just for completion. For the first 3% of the season, towards 24, the photo challenge, hashtag old acquaintance. Take a picture of your car with a player or drive avatar in Edinburgh. To quickly complete it, switch to solo mode. Go anywhere in Edinburgh and wait for a drive avatar to pass for the picture. Next, for 15% a quick and easy Forzaton, mini adventure. For this one you can buy the cheap John Cooper Works Mini from the auto show for 25k only and be done in about 10 minutes as the chapters are really easy. For the second chapter, win 2 road racing series events, you can use standard or blueprints. Sprint or circuits, they all count, so go with short blueprint sprints for quick completion. Third chapter has the same requirement, only that with dirt tracks. Use the same strategy and you're up to the fourth one. While the last chapter requires 9 stars from speed zones. So you can do 3x3 three three or 9x1 star however you want or can, it is that easy. For guaranteed 3 stars on every pass I recommend Forest Green. And that's it, 200 Forzaton points and 15%. You have arrived at your destination. Regarding the Forzaton shop, this week we are getting back a really cool car, the Apollo. Very good all-arounder in my opinion. Going back to the Horizon Festival for the backstage. Unfortunately the Fiesta took the win, even though most of us would have really needed that Hoonigan RS200 for this week's speed zone challenge. Let's hope whoever voted like this and has a hard time completing, the upcoming speed zone will know next time. Well for this week, a Honda versus a Cadillac. I went with the caddy as it is just cooler to mess around with in free roam. For the trial, S900 Classic Racers. I've picked the cheapest possible car, the Lotus Cartina, and did quite well actually. Even though I missed checkpoints in two races, the little rusty car helped get a good position by the end. In the final one, pulling a second place with ease. Not bad for a 40k car against so many expensive options. Make sure your team wins 2 out of 3 and the reward is yours. For the remix, ride to anywhere, we have the taxi of roader against the hovercraft. Thanks to Sniper for pulling this one for all of us as it seems we were not all concentrating well on the race. Completing this along with the ranked and rivals will already have you over 50% winter for the little notchback. Atom games now in A800 GT cars. Being down by one teammate from the start due to Forza throwing him out of the convoy didn't make it easy for us, so we lost. But as I always say, you no longer have to win the games. So just wait for the completion and you'll get the reward for being on the second place as a team from the two possible podium spots too. 
Moving on, this week's PR stands for 6% each, since we have the remix which counts for 6 as well. Bamber Castle Danger Sign There are many cars that can do the jump. To help you out, clean a bit the area of destructible items. Then go on the far straight past the castle arcades. From there keep it straight and you should get the distance without too much of an effort as long as you don't touch the wall. Next, Deep Veil Speed Trap. It is not that difficult, again, using most of S2 or X-Class cars. If you have difficulties, try and cut the corner right before the speed trap. As for the last, Toft Speed Zone, 135 miles per hour. Oh boy, haven't had a challenge like this for a really long time. Not gonna lie, it took a bit for completing, mostly cause I tried to find a cheap auto show for everyone to use, which unfortunately I haven't so far. You have arrived at your destination. Cars that I tuned and managed to get the job done quite quickly were the Hoonigan RS200 which is very very grippy on the snowy roads but which you can only get from the auction house since the community didn't vote for it in the past backstage session. When it is safe to do so. And the Diablo GTR, which with its big rear wheels and a heavy engine managed to grip on the corner well, thus getting the challenge done. I'd say it did even better than the RS200, for both you can find tunes by my gamer track, or try and fully upgrade them yourself with little additional tuning tweaks here and there. Lastly, the 3 weekly championships against at least highly skilled drive avatars to get all the rewards. Let it snow for the Koenigsegg Yesco. I went with the Regera, but I'd recommend you pick the CCGT, or basically any other Koenigsegg that doesn't has only one gear. Why? Well, just because the mostly stock one road racing into Drift Adventure having too much torque in every corner, that snow on the road. Completing one of the three championships gets you over 80% for the Toyota GT86. Next, breaking new ground for the Velociraptor. The Hummer H1 did very well in the snow, I'd say a proper box on wheels that helped get the win against pro drive avatars with ease. It will probably do well against Unbeatable too, so not even mentioning the lower, highly skilled ones. And lastly, Hogmanay Street Party for the 718 GTS. Given that I didn't have any tuned cars and the Audi was the only 4x4 out of them all, I went with it stock. But since the Drivatar cars are tweaked to match your car's performance, getting a first podium position was rather easy thus getting the last car of this season. Now the daily challenges. First win a street scene, you'll already have it completed if you did the street party championship. Second one side swipe skill. Touch a destructible item with the side of your car. Third. 2 ultimate skill chains, drift, jump, breakthrough stuff quickly around Bamberg, the airstrip or anywhere else to easily get ultimate skills. 4th, earn 3 stars at any speed trap. The easiest one is Asthmore. 5th, earn 2 ultimate clean racing skills, let the drive avatars go first then drive clean till it pops. 6th, 1 crash landing skill. The Bamberg sand dunes will get it done quickly, jump and hit a fence, for example. And 7th, win 2 dirt scramble events. Those are circuits and they can be standard or blueprints on any difficulty. Just keep in mind that one daily happens each day in order and is available for 72 hours only for completion. And that does it for another 100% completion, this time for Winter 30. Hope you've enjoyed the new episode, for any questions or discussions feel free to use the comment section below or the Discord server. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Forza weekly content. 
For any additional details regarding the events, they are also available in the video description. Till next time, Happy New Year, stay safe, have fun racing and thanks for your support.